Happy Halloween! Tonight we're going to show you some creative tips for carving your own pumpkin. My name is Amanda Cox and I am an elementary art teacher in Sumter School District. And with me tonight I have Heidi Adler, who is also a visual arts teacher at Sumter High School. And also have two students from Sumter High, Katherine Parker and Jalen Johnson. They are both juniors and also artists. They are in Eric Burris's Ceramics 2 class. So um, I was wondering, Katherine and Jalen, can you guys tell me a little bit about this amazing pumpkin that you carved? Well, we got inspiration from our school because our school mascot is a Gamecock. We also put our school logo on the side of it, SHS, and I'll let Catherine tell you a little bit more about the pumpkin. To do this, we used a chisel tool, and it was our first time working with these, but they are very similar to some of the tools we use in ceramics. And we actually did this by outlining the Gamecock in Sharpie, which our teacher Eric Burris helped us with and showed us really cool techniques on how to use this to incorporate different lines and texture and just different dimensions. Ms. Adler, would you like to say about the other pumpkins? I would, thank you, Catherine. Um, we had uh, three other art teachers, um, other than Mr. Burris, carve pumpkins with their students today. And this one on the end was done in Ms. Bogner's class. And the students who worked on it were Mackenzie Lamb and Taiwan James. And what they did is they actually removed the whole background around the ghost so they could create this fun image of a ghost and this one in the middle was done in Miss Rennick's class and she teaches sculpture and her students were Jalen McGuire and Daniel Howard that helped her with this. Um, they did something kind of fun with the teeth. They actually used toothpicks to create teeth instead of... Yeah, I saw that. Isn't that fun? Yeah, yeah, I really like that. One. The other neat thing about this pumpkin is, is there's a little notch in the lid so that when you're removing the lid to put the candles in, you can easily put it back in place. Yeah. You don't have to twist it around That's to smart. figure out where it goes. Yeah. I know. You saw me a little while ago. I was having I some did. trouble getting yeah. this we one back ours. on. Sometimes it's a trick. <laughs> uh, this one on the end was done by one of my art three students, Sophia um, McCarthy, and she decided she wanted to do a skull. And so this was a little bit different because we used a dermal tool to remove the skin. The skin was pretty tough in this pumpkin, so we used a dermal tool and we carved down to the flesh of the pumpkin. Yeah. And once we were there, we used the chisels, the wood chisels, they, they worked really well, um, to create different layers and depth so that the pumpkin had some thicker skin in the raised areas, and then some thinner skin we carved a little bit deeper. Um, and actually, we knocked a tooth out. Um, and it's fun, so while you're carving your pumpkins, if you actually move something that you don't want, if you want it back on there, yeah. we just put a little toothpick up into yes. the skin and reattach yeah. the, the tooth. So that's, that's awesome. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so. love the way that, you know, carving away and leaving it, it gives, you know, different... Um, the way the light shows through yeah, it the way night, the light, right? Exactly. Right, yeah. So yeah. it really gives you a little bit of depth um, in the image that you make. That's really neat. Well, and you know, the other thing we thought about doing is we carved holes in the back. So the, the candles could come in and out of the back. Right. Not necessarily have to be on the top. And you know, that also helps with, you don't have to have, you don't have to cut the hole out of sure. the top. So you don't see that. So whenever you're carving it out of the back. It's another option. Yeah. <laughs> another fun idea. So Miss Amanda, like, since we cut all, how do we get this like to stay until Halloween? Like, okay. we get it to stay. All right, good question. All right, so there's a couple of things that you can do. Number one, we're already doing it. You want to use an LED bulb. Okay, because if you're using um, a candle, you are, it's going to get hot inside the pumpkin and um, it's going to just cause it to deteriorate faster. Okay, another thing that really helps is using some Vaseline. Okay, yeah, Vaseline, very simple. And then also what I recommend, and you want to rub it on the inside, anywhere where you've cut, anywhere where you've carved. And if you have some small areas that you've carved into, you actually want to go in here and you can apply it in these small areas with a q-tip so it's gonna like keep your pumpkin a lot fresher looking for a lot yes, longer and not exactly not fall apart and rot as quickly yep okay. in fact i tested it myself um i did one without it it lasted about three days outside mm -hmm. and the one that i put vaseline on lasted about seven days oh so it's 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 significant sure, how yeah. much longer it lasts enjoy it a little bit longer yep, yep. yeah what I'd like to do is uh, show you guys um, a couple of other techniques besides, you know, you can always draw uh, your design on here and carve it with a knife, but I thought I would show you guys a couple of other ways that I've been um, practicing. All right, so another little tip that I can show you is whenever you decide that you want to do your design, use a dry erase marker instead of a Sharpie because if you draw on here and it's messed up, you can just wipe it away. 
okay? okay. Now what I'm gonna do, and hopefully this will work, this is the thick side of the pumpkin, so we'll see. So we're gonna hold, we're gonna use a cookie cutter, and this is a rubber mallet, okay? So I'm gonna start on one side, and Catherine, do me a favor. <laughs> yeah, hold that for me. And you go around a little bit at a time. You are gonna bend your cookie cutter, that's okay. So does it have to be a metal cookie cutter? I'm yes. guessing because the edges are sharp. It has to be a metal cookie cutter and you have to make sure that you put it in the right way. There's a sharper edge. There's, there's a sharper edge. There's an edge where the metal is folded over. Okay. Right? You don't you don't put that side in first. You want to put the thinner, sharper side on okay. the pumpkin. All right. A lot of times these pumpkins are really thick. This is a big pumpkin. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in here. And I have this guide now, um, my cookie cutter. I'm kind of using it as a guide. And I'm just going in and cutting around the edge here. I'm going to take my pliers. All right, so now I'm going to pull it out piece by piece. So um, what I want to show you guys next now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my drill. Okay. And we're going to drill some holes into our pumpkin. And we're going to kind of create a tail right here. All right, so again, we can come in and I can sort of plan where I'm going to draw this, where I'm going to drill these holes. And I'm using a, um, I think this is a half inch drill bit. So I'm just going to hold on to my pumpkin. Right? And I just leave it on. As I go in, by the way, do this outside. It's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty messy, yeah, <laughs> but it's really fun. So uh, as you can see, we added another star and we've added a lot more detail with the drill. And so that's actually going to let a, light more, a lot more light shine through. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say thanks so much to you guys thank for you coming for out tonight. Us. Yeah, I had a great time. Um, Catherine and Jalen, thank you so much. And Heidi, thank you for coming fun. out. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the lights down and we're gonna see what these pumpkins look like with some candles in them. Yeah? All right. All right, yeah. sounds good. <laughs>